just me or do you also have relatives who have suffered huge losses in the stock market years ago it's funny how everyone stuck to their stories and stayed away from the market since i have a curious mind thanks to the crime shows i turned into a detective myself and started looking for the logical reasons of what might have actually gone wrong and i came to the conclusion that they suffered losses because of their own mistakes Hello everyone my name is Soundarya Lakshmi Narayanan and I am going to address the common mistake the traders make in today's video you should indeed watch this video till the end because there's a lot of money that you can save if you know what not to do it's also true that people learn from their mistakes however this does not imply that those mistakes should be yours to learn from so without wasting any time let's begin today's video number 1 trading without a trading plan Well, making a trading plan can be tricky and it differs from person to person. Even experienced traders can get into trouble sometimes. So beginners tend to make mistakes. In order to get the best suitable plan for you, consider asking yourself these questions. Decide what you want to get out of trading and then devise a strategy in order to achieve that. Make a decision on how much time you can devote to trading. and the types of trades that you want to make whether intraday swing trading scalping etc or whether or not it is up to your current level of knowledge and is your current level of knowledge sufficient number 2 trading too much too soon the temptation especially for inexperienced traders is to push the limits with the aim of making quicker gains due to potential of profit from trading On the contrary, over enthusiastic trading just increases your risk level by increasing the volume or value of a deal. If things go against you, you may have to pull yourself out of the market before you have a chance to become comfortable with the market's environment. There are far too many people who go into trading with expectation that they will quickly become rich. You can't just throw money at trading and expect to walk away with a fortune. You have to put in time and effort if you want to come close to achieving your lofty goals. Number 3, emotional trading. When you feel you have a good run, you feel like you can't go wrong, right? In trading it usually occurs after a streak of profitable trades and a sense of expertise, but in the end it's your money on the line, so keep in mind that all good things must come to an end. So you should be enthusiastic and confident about trading but you should not let your emotions drive your trading decisions and force you into trades that you would not normally consider calm down your emotions before you deal with anything take a step back and try to look at it objectively is it in line with your plans do you base your decisions on facts or intuitions what if the trade doesn't go your way number 4 guessing You're not a trader if you don't perform any research before taking a trade. Even worse, trading without any knowledge of the market is like stepping into a casino, slinging money on a roulette wheel and crossing one's fingers praying for the best. The volatility and unpredictability inherent in trading can be mitigated if you take the time to understand and observe how the market works. Number 5, you're not using stop loss order. Would you drive a car whose brakes have failed? Then why would you trade without a stop loss in spite of the fact that this is a valuable tool many traders still trade without it as a general rule this results in a lot of painful losses losses that could have been prevented it is possible to prevent moving too far into a losing position by appropriately utilizing a stop loss level you must always create a haptic system to assist you in avoiding over emotional investments number 6 taking two big positions to be sure every trader wants to have a possibility to make large profits in the market in addition there is always a desire to take a large position believing that it will be a profitable transaction taking a large position in a trade can be dangerous as has been demonstrated time and time again there is no certainty that the trade will go according to the plan number 7 taking too many positions there is no limit to the trading opportunities however it is possible that keeping too many positions will harm your trading without a powerful and automated trading system having too many positions can be dangerous and confusing keep in mind that the human brain has a limited capacity to process information furthermore you can only devote a fixed time and attention to each trade 
keep track of your trades the next time that you trade take a few trades at a time and exit when the opportunity arises to do so again a trading strategy will assist you in sorting through all of your options and choosing which ones are the best number 8 revenge trading isn't it demoralizing to fall flat you want to go back into the market and show that you can be a successful trader right revenge trading is based on this practice premise you are itching to exact your vengeance your goal is to demonstrate that you are a successful trader on the other hand revenge trades can really cause more harm than good in the long run if you want to avoid revenge trading the easiest way to do so is to avoid it at all cost it's preferable to take a step back and figure out what went wrong if you have had a poor deal or a streak of losses number 9 being able to accept losses a common misconception among traders is that they are immune to making mistakes but this isn't the case at all even if you are a long time trader or your portfolio has suddenly taken a dive because you went into trade without doing your homework you should accept the outcome and move on rather than letting your pride dominate your trading style and hold on to those losses longer as long as there is a market there is always another day and another opportunity to trade number 10 following the crowd inexperienced trader sometimes make the mistake of blindly following the herd which leads to getting into risky trades that end badly for their portfolios beginner traders should think about their own trading style and when making judgments so that they don't leap into trends without performing their own study and understanding why it might work out better for them if you follow someone else into a trade without doing any technical or fundamental analysis the trade will mostly make losses and you are only solely responsible for your money so these mistakes were the mistakes that i found my friends and relatives made now you can learn from these mistakes and try avoiding them in the future but the best thing you can do is learn about the stock market and its functionalities at alice blue there are numerous educational blogs articles videos and webinars designed by the market experts that could help you become a good trader so risk hai to ishq hai is not always true sometimes you need to stay calm and make calculated decisions this was all in today's video next time i'll see you with another exciting topic until then do subscribe to the channel and comment below what mistakes that you made and share this video to all the traders who can benefit from thanks for watching and see you all in another amazing video investment in securities market are subject to market risk read all the related documents carefully before investing